O Son of God, most holy, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. O holy thing, born, crucified, risen, and throned, we beseech thee, without rebuke all the unholiness in us that would grieve thy spirit from us. Rebuke, we beseech thee, all of the flesh and of the mind that is even negative and that thus hinders the operation of the spirit. Oh, we beseech thee, let the Shekinah be seen today. Let it hover over each habitation, showing that the Lord is now. We beseech thee. May we go away from this place, serious, if we be perturbed, bothered, until we have done something with this injunction, and have sought to be holy as thou art holy, and have tried by surrender and faith to purify our hearts unto obedience. Grant, we beseech thee, to answer all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, we pray thy blessing upon us. O Lamb of God, we love thee so, we would with thee life's journey go. We pray thou will help us this morning. hurt and humbled by our own unworthiness, the knowledge of and, and haunting memories of sins committed in the past, but by thy grace at the moment we have no wish to sin. We wish only to, to love thee and live as we should. So please help us now, for Jesus' sake. The brethren will now gather while we sing. Father, we pray thy blessing upon this word. Now, as we enter communion service, we pray that in utter humility, meekness, and humbleness of spirit, we may be and insist upon being what thou dost declare us to be. And we may deduce from thy own characterizations of us what kind of holy men and women we ought to be, showing forth the praises of him who brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Take away all bitterness, all resentfulness, all disquietude, all discontent, and bring us, we pray thee, into mental and spiritual harmony as we think together of the shed blood and the broken body. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless us. It's time we wake up, and I pray with the prophet, or with the hymn writer awake, God turn them, almighty God turn off their eyes from all these alluring vanities. Let the thunder of thy word awake their souls to fear the Lord. May it be so. We pray thee, shut around us today by thy grace. Shut us out from the world's clamor, from the wagging tongues and the noisy booming voices, and the example that would lead us not toward thee, but toward the world. Save us from it. And shut us in with thee, may we think and talk and meditate on holy things today. Dismiss us now with our blessing, may grace and mercy and peace be with us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now our Father, we well know that spiritual things can't be reduced to formulas, even though we struggle so hard to do it. 
an impulse of faith, sudden reckless daring of the soul in its leap after God to do more for us than all the carefully laid out sermons could ever do. We've done all we can do. We've appealed to the intelligence, made some explanations, tried to say in our racy modern English what has been said with great and stately dignity in our Bibles. My God, now take this that's been spoken and apply it to our hearts. May we, one after the other, turn from Adam's unbelieving world with its self-confidence, its self-reliance, its arrogance, its pride, its mad pleasures, its love of wealth, its love of praise, its love of publicity, its inordinate love of clothing and of fine things and of rich things. Turn us, we pray thee, from it all not only in our hearts, but in reality. And then turn us to Jesus Christ, thy Son. We need him, Lord. We gave up the world and didn't have him. We'd be in a vacuum. So I'll quickly take us through that little vacuum and take us to Jesus Christ, who is the radiant source of everlasting life and peace, joy, world without end. God bless us now as we go on into the Lord's Supper. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray that thou wilt single us out as though there weren't any others in lonely singleness and speak to us. Lord, it isn't thy will that we should fail in our Christian progress. Lead us, Lord. Thou hast spoken this morning, that we're quite certain. Continue to speak. Save us, we pray thee, from the result of our own foolishness. Save us from the traits of our own nature. Save us, we pray thee, from our own laziness. And make this afternoon, for some, a time of crossing over. And now may grace and mercy and peace and the crying God Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, be with us forever. O Lord, we pray thee help us this morning. We can't ask that we might be worthy to receive of the communion, but we do ask that we might in a worthy manner receive it. Prepare our hearts, O God, to think seriously and reverently and with, with joy over thy blood and body and righteousness, which are to be to us glorious dress and a heavenly garb in that day. Bring on our minds from considering the world. May we think only about thee. Christ's name. Amen. Father, we pray thy blessing upon the word given. We pray that thou will help us, that our faith might mount up like an eagle, stretch its broad wings, and soar so high that nothing can pull it down. And as the eagle can look upon the sun, we pray that we may look upon thy holy Son at the right hand of the Majesty, and that we may be grateful to the point of cheers and tenderness. That he who is God and very God of very God gave himself and hung on yonder tree. Bless us as we receive of the Lord's Supper. In Christ's name, amen. My Father, we pray thee, bless this truth. Long ago thy servant wrote these words. We, thy servants, in this time long after hear them. They're as living as if they'd been written yesterday and delivered this morning. O oh God, we lift our eyes to thee, 
to thy Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, who is above angels, and who sitteth at thy right hand. And we pray, give to us a spiritual urgency. Give to us a longing which is more than human. Give to us, we pray thee, the desire that's like a fire burning in our bones, that the claims of Christ thy Holy Son may be so strong within us that we cannot neglect them. We shall press on like the day, spring, rise higher and higher to the shining light and unto the perfect day. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.